My name is Judy Gobin. I'm from Tulela, um, Washington. My mother's name is Loretta James. My, my father's name is Harold Joseph. My grandmother was Mary Sampson from Swinoosh. I'm a weaver. When, when I started weaving, my daughters both started weaving with me. And after we learned, and we learned how to gather on our own, and we learned where we could go to do it, we began to do it in our home. One of the ways that I always explain cedar is um, it was the life of our people. It was, it was, thank God it was, it was our staple for everything. It was, it was how we traveled. It was how we cooked. It was, we used it for our baby's bottoms. We, we used it to hold our ceremonies. We made our masks. We cooked with them. We made homes with them. So there was, there was uses for it medicinally. There was uses for it, you know, in the water. There was uses for it in the kitchen. There was uses for it in the inside the house. So there was. A, they found a use for it, whatever, in many many ways. And we're just beginning to find out all the uses. Now this is a coil basket, and this is something I just learned to weave. And this is primarily um, what our people here in Tulela did was coil basketry. So this is something that I'm going to continue to learn how to do because it's being brought back. This being a graduation hat that I made for my youngest daughter when she graduated from uh, Art Institute Santa Fe. It's just an over under process. Um, something anyone can do. Oh, hey. 